Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new release for the RetroArch Neo Core brought to you by the team over at HackGresources.com. We are at version 1.7.2a and here we go. Let's just, there we go. What's new in this release? Let's see, we have, by default, RetroArch Neo will display core specific load screens. New loading screens! Ooh, oh, wow, that are bundled into this version. You can load in your own core specific load screens by putting the load screens on your USB drive in this location here or directly to NAND at that location. You can add additional core specific screens by adding the core name dot ping to the folders, such as for the PSP core. And they're saying that for the most part, RetroArch save states now work properly, most of the time. Um, there's some things that aren't working right, depending on what core you use. So if you were to put, say, Super Mario 64 on your system, um, the game crashes if you're using the Gloopin core. But if you use Moopin, save states should work no problem. And then you can uh, change the hotkeys to save and load, quick save or quick load, I mean. So that's nice. Um, you can now remap almost anything in the Quick Menu Controls tab. So, for example, if you want to remap the analog stick on an N64 cord to the D-pad of your SNES Classic controller, you can do it directly from here and create a core or game remap file. That's very useful. By default, the games will start in core provided aspect ratio and without borders. Scan lines and bilinear are on if CRT mode is selected. To enable borders, you have to go to your settings screen, or excuse me, you have to go to settings, on-screen display, and then on-screen overlay and turn it on to display it while in RetroArch. And this is one of the coolest things I think I've seen so far, bezel mode. Bezel mode is a mode that enables your current selected SNES Classic border to fit automatically to the image of the game inside. So it's going to adjust the borders to fit the game screen, or I should say it's going to adjust this game screen to fit into the border so you don't have um, the outside parts sticking out of the border. Sometimes that happens with like Game Boy Advance games or PSP games, stuff like that. It'll shrink it so it fits within the border. That's very, very useful. So when starting a game normally, this is what you would be seeing. See how the game screen kind of peels out the side and it's overlapping on the border? Not with the new RetroArch Neo. By simply holding down the L button and starting the game, you will notice that the game screen will be adjusted to fit inside of the borders. Alternatively, if you hold down the R button while starting a game, it will apply this to all games. So again, this RetroArch contains the FCEUMM and Nestopia cores, which are for Nintendo games. And that's about it. If you want to know more, you can check out the Reddit post that I will put in my description to read a little bit more about it. And make sure that you join the Hackchi Resources Discord if you haven't already. Everybody there is super friendly and super helpful with any questions that you may have always willing to jump to help you guys out. So thank you all so much for watching. Go download the newest RetroArch Neo 1.7.2 and have fun. See you later. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out? And if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.